Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a house build um, with rooms that are inspired from Pinterest pictures. Uh, basically, I've just been having a little bit of a rough time um, with like inspiration and being able to do things like off the top of my head. Um, so I decided to go back to my roots and go to Pinterest and get some pictures of um, different rooms that I liked and basically just make a house out of it. Um, I haven't done this kind of method in a while. I used to do this a lot um, where I'd go and get like inspiration pics and then just like copy them. Um, I used to do that quite a bit and it was really fun. So yeah, I enjoyed coming back to that kind of um, way of building. And yeah, that's basically what this video is today. Um, I did get the pictures that I was pulling from um, so you'll see them pop up um, every once in a while when I am on the room that I was inspired from. But um, yeah, I did actually start this with um, like a different recording um, for like the entryway. I was copying a photo that I got from Pinterest and I just really disliked the way it turned out. So um, I ended up just bulldozing it and then I redid it doing this room. Um, and this is just like off the top of my head, I think. Um, I don't remember if I had an inspiration picture. I don't think I did, but if you see something similar, then maybe I did, but I, I can't remember if I took it from somewhere else, but I didn't have it in the folder with the other pictures, um, like a photo that looked like this room. So I'm pretty sure it was off the top of my head, but um, yeah, so I'm just doing like the entrance here. Um, it's funny whenever I do this sort of like, I don't know, not it's not really like a challenge, I guess, but just when I try to do like at build that's like room by room instead of just kind of making a house and then like furnishing it. Um, I find that um, it's always interesting <laughs> to see like what the shape is going to turn out to be like, um, especially if I don't make like a top floor or something because sometimes it's hard to do roofing when it's just like uh, like one level. So yeah, that's usually the um, struggle that I have when I do this kind of thing where it's just putting a bunch of boxes together is trying to make sure that at the end the roofing is going to look halfway decent <laughs> but anyways we are on to the dining room now um, which comes off of the entrance there and I think I'm going to have like the picture pop up in a little second here I'm just kind of getting the rough shape of what it looks like in the photo and I think it comes up now. So you're gonna see the picture. This is the inspiration picture um, that I got from Pinterest. And I just liked how chill it was. <laughs> I just liked the chillness of it. I think I kept pretty much all the walls in the house the same color. It's kind of like that um, white paneling, um, just to keep it simple. Uh, and then just have like colors in the furniture and stuff around it. So it wasn't like too boring, but it also wasn't like overwhelming. Um, Cause I can be maximalist sometimes when it comes to walls and um, rugs and stuff and then the colors of the walls. So I just was going for something a little bit simple today. Um, but I like the way it turned out. And I also saw the picture and I was like, oh my goodness, we have like those exact chairs <laughs> in the game um, that I can use. So it was kind of perfect um, the way it turned out, but yeah. It was pretty um, easy finding uh, different like custom content and items and stuff um, that would like match this room. Uh, so that was kind of fun that I could kind of match it. Not exactly like one to one, obviously, because this is still a game and um, I don't have like every single thing exactly 100%. But um, yeah, I was surprised by like how close I could get it, I guess just because it's been a little while since the last time that um, I did this, but um, you can see on like the left side of the picture, there's like a picture a uh, wall um, that's like green. I didn't end up doing that accent wall. I just kind of kept it all the same color. So um, I I actually didn't even notice that I didn't do that wall until I was looking at the footage later, and I was like, oh, I didn't even realize that wall was there. I wasn't paying attention. Um, so I didn't even do that, but I think it looks fine. Uh, regardless. I was having like a rough time trying to get a plant that was similar to the picture where it was like kind of tall. Um, 
but I just ended up going with um, this like little leafy guy over here in the corner and I thought that looked good. It had like the height enough, um, like the one in the picture that I thought it was okay. I tried to layer these rugs um, and then I ended up not doing that <laughs> and I just put um, this rug here um, underneath because I didn't like the way it looked, even though it was supposed to be like a round rug underneath the table, but I don't know. I just didn't like the way that it looked and I couldn't find anything that had like a pattern on it. It was just kind of plain. So yeah, I ended up going with the kind of rectangular shaped one. Um, I tend to do that a lot in like builds where I have like a rug underneath a dining table, but I don't think I've ever been to anyone's house ever in my entire life that's ever had a rug underneath their dining table. I don't know if it's like common in other places, um, but in Canada, I guess it's not common because I don't think I've ever been to someone's house and they had a rug underneath their dining table. I like the way that it looks, but I'm sure in reality, I would not like it because I'm kind of messy and I feel like um, I would be eating and like dropping stuff and then I don't know, like if we had kids over or something, um, getting crumbs everywhere. I don't know. It's probably like really inconvenient, but it just looks pretty. Um, yeah. Let me know if you guys have a rug underneath your dining tables or if you've like been to somebody's house that has it. I don't think I've ever been to one, but I, I do it like pretty much every single time I build. Um, but yeah, this is the kitchen um, that we're in right now. It's a galley kitchen, which I actually really like doing galley kitchens. Um, I think that the photos AI actually didn't know um, until later. So we're not going to keep it on screen for a while, um, for a long time, because I didn't realize, but that is what I was copying. <laughs> um, I don't know why, but sometimes I have a hard time um, like being able to differentiate AI images sometimes. I don't know. I don't, maybe I'm just not, my brain's not paying enough attention. Um, but the more that I looked at the photo when I was building, I was like, wait a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it might have been. Um, hopefully it wasn't, but it might have been. So I just wanted to show kind of what I was looking at, but I, I won't keep it up too long because I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but anyways, this is the kitchen area. I think in the photo, it kind of looks more like bluey green. Um, but I didn't have like a wall that kind of looked like that color. So, um, I just chose this like, uh, kitchen set and the walls here. Cause I thought they matched well enough with each other. Um, like in the picture, how the walls and the counters matched. Um, so I just went for this one. Um, it's not like as blue as the picture, but I think it worked out pretty well. And I really like these windows. Um, I think they're from the Soho cc pack um and I, yeah i really like the light that they bring in to a to a room it's just like i don't know it makes it like really bright and nice um but they didn't really fit on like above the countertops in the kitchen so i ended up going with these ones instead just because they uh, fit with the height of the counter i find that a lot with cc windows and just windows in the game in general but just i don't know sims windows for the sims 4 um, I find that they're never made like for the height of a counter top so that you could like fit it above a sink or just like have it in the kitchen and it wouldn't like impede like you wouldn't see like the countertop from the outside if you're looking in because that always bothers me if it's like covering the window but they're never the right height I don't know why that seems to be the case like they don't usually make them this that like specific height but um, yeah, so sometimes like the windows will be a little bit higher than other windows in the house, which I have seen before in real life. Like I've seen houses that have like windows that are higher just because they're like above the countertops in a kitchen. Um, but I don't really love the way that looks, but sometimes we'll do it just because I can't find uh, a window that like suits the rest of the windows in the house that would look good on a countertop, um, or like above a countertop in a kitchen, but Anyways, <laughs> I just decided to do um, this and have the windows, which is nice because it gets all the the light in and yeah. I haven't done like a monochromatic kitchen like this in a hot minute. Um, I don't feel like I do it that often, like where the back of the kitchen, like the walls, I mean, um, match the colors of the counters um, in the cabinet. So I really liked um, doing that. <laughs> 
this time. It's been a bit since then. So I guess we should maybe talk about the uh, news, I guess, in the Sims sphere. Um, there was just two kits released. There's the bis Bistro, Cozy Bistro, I think it's called. The Cozy Bistro kit and then something Riviera, like a poolside sort of kit, which I feel like we've gotten quite a bit of those, but they released another one. Um, something Riviera, I think it's called. Um, and also, <laughs> uh, like a battle pass thing when you open the game, uh, where you get like free items, which has been the talk of the community recently for obvious reasons, because why do we have a battle pass like, um, like reward system or something for logging in every day? You basically like log in the game and then you can like get a reward for logging in that day. But if you like, I don't know if like you, if you miss like a couple days, you're just like not going to get that thing. I think that's how that works. Um, I could be incorrect about that, but it's kind of crazy in general to put a battle pass into a pretty much like single player game. Um, I know there's like community things like the gallery and all that, but it is like a single player game. So that's just, it's just weird. I know that they're doing it because I know that Project Renee is going to be a, um, microtransaction wasteland <laughs> um but yeah I, a lot of people aren't happy about it um it's not great uh but i guess it is what it is um so that happened and the kits came out um and then everyone's they put out a statement as well actually um where they were kind of saying sorry for <laughs> um the game being unplayable for so long for so many people and that they're gonna like do better to like fix the bugs and stuff um we haven't really seen that they're also like updating the game to be able to run on direct x11 which is like gonna help things run a little bit more smoothly and like the graphics quality would be better but um yeah so there's been a lot of updates to the game um i will just say just pop in here because the the picture just came up on the screen but this is the living room and that was my inspiration picture for the living room i just really liked how um the colors work together and it was like bright but it still was kind of rooted or like grounded in like the darker colors and then like the mustards and stuff and the orangey colors i just really liked the way it looked so um that was what i was trying to recreate I did use um, these shelves that I really liked. They're really pretty, um, but you have to like put the shelving up um, manually, which is fine, but it kept disappearing, which was super annoying. <laughs> um, just like with the game, like sometimes you'll play something down and delete something else like in the house that has nothing to do with that one thing that you just placed down, but it'll like delete itself for no reason. Um, the better build my better build by mod has a little module that you can click on so that it doesn't delete itself. Um, Cause it's just like a game thing that happens, but that did happen to me a couple times and it drove me absolutely insane. So if there's weird stuff with the bug shelves, um, you can just delete them <laughs> cause it was giving me a hard time with the books just like deleting themselves. Um, because I was placing stuff other places in the house. Um, it's just like an EA, like, Maxis glitch thing that they haven't fixed. But, um, yeah. I just wanted to, like, note that and, um, just kind of say that we're in the living room now. But anyways, um, <laughs> to what I was talking about before. Um, yeah, they put out, like, a statement basically apologizing for the game being unplayable for a lot of people um and like the leg and the bugs from different packs and things like that and so they're like yeah basically that they're sorry because a lot i think it's because the sims community has been kind of boycotting getting new packs and stuff so they're like oh snap we're getting the competition coming in the next couple years from all these different game developers and indie game developers and now no one's buying our packs because we keep putting out buggy packs um that aren't playable um so they actually assembled a i think they said a qa team so like obviously quality assurance and um testers i think and they're gonna try and 
do their job, I guess, because they should have done that. Like, they should have had this team, period. Um, it makes it sound like they didn't have anyone doing this for a while now because they moved on to doing Project Renee, so that's kind of crazy because um, you probably should have a team if you're going to continue um, making a game and making content for a game. That kind of just makes sense. But anyways, um, yeah, they put out that statement. So they're trying to um, give game improvements, I guess. Um, but I did notice uh, this is kind of unusual for me to like update the game directly after like a patch or an update. I usually take a little bit of time and kind of wait it out just because I play with mods and CC and stuff and I really dislike having to update and go through and update everything and it's just like a whole process but um this time I decided to actually try and play the game I think it was like a day or two after the update came out um because I just wanted to see like how it would work and if like there was a noticeable change because the patch was supposed to make like leg and simulation leg improvements in the game so I wanted to just kind of test it out and see if I saw a difference um and from what I tested I haven't done a lot of gameplay um but from what I've tested so far just being like in the game I found that it was for me at least less leggy than usual some of the interactions like with your sims like trying to make them do stuff um some of the interactions that usually would drop or like not work or they would just kind of stand there and not do anything were working a lot better and i tested it without cc and mods and then i tested it with cc and mods and aside from like little things here and there that happened i didn't see anything too terrible um so i do see like a slight improvement at least in my game with like simulation leg and just kind of leg in general of it be running a little bit slower um but i don't know if it's going to be like that for everybody else so um if you have updated your game let me know if you feel like it's better worse or the same because <laughs> i know that not everyone's going to have the same um experience after the patch but yeah i found that it did improve on some of that i was actually kind of surprised um and it's not even updated to direct direct x11 yet um because that is kind of like an optional thing that you can do right now it's not like built into the game yet um i think they're they said that they're waiting to do it like in a future update um but yeah i didn't bother um updating to direct x11 because people did say that doing that specifically um and you had to go into like your game files and like rename something in order for the game to recognize direct x11 um so it's not like with the patch but it would be something that you have to do manually um so i just did the patch but i didn't do the update to direct x11 because i did hear people saying that if they did um dx11 that they were having a lot of issues with like mods and cc not functioning um or like not placing or disappearing and like all this stuff so um yeah, there's going to be, that's going to be a really big update, um, especially for people with uh, a lot of CC and mods in their game, because it's going to basically change the way the game reads, I think, like items and things like that, um, because people were saying that things were just like disappearing and not even showing up at all. I think just because they were built, obviously, on um, um, DX9 when the CC makers made it. So that's gonna be a massive update when they actually do bring it like inside of the game. Um, and a lot of CC is probably gonna be broken. So that's gonna be a fun time um, having to update all of that as obviously like the CC makers roll out updates. Um, it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. After I heard that, I was like, oh, that's gonna be a big update. Um, but yeah. Um, we did get into this bathroom and you probably didn't see a picture come up because I kind of just looked at a couple pictures of bathrooms on Pinterest and was like, that's good enough. <laughs> and I didn't really like copy one specifically, so I didn't put a picture in here um, for the bathrooms. I also don't put a picture up for the um, outside, like back 
like outdoor backyard area kind of thing um, because I didn't uh, like choose just one photo I kind of saw a bunch of different pictures on Pinterest and then um, took inspiration from all of them so yeah you won't uh, see a picture for the outdoors either but you will see a picture for the um, primary bedroom and the um, kind of teenager bedroom here as you can see right now the picture just popped up but um, yeah this is like the teen bedroom that I made for this house there's only I guess I didn't really say like <laughs> the specs of the house and everything but it's just a two bedroom home um, with two bathrooms obviously and yeah I just wanted to do something kind of simple just because like I said before doing the rooms and then trying to make some kind of livable playable floor plan um, that the roofing doesn't look stupid with is kind of difficult so I just wanted to do something um, a little bit smaller just because it would be easier to make it happen <laughs> and build around it um, so it is a two-bedroom house with a teenager's room which I'm doing right now and then um, just like I don't know their parents room um, right next door um, to it so yeah it's two bedrooms two bathrooms and then all the other you know the kitchen the dining room the living room and that's pretty much it um, and then I guess like the backyard is a room I usually put like some kind of study or like office space but I didn't end up doing that with this one you saw it it was like kind of in the living room area um, so it's just kind of like a general uh, like desk space but I guess like they do work from there because I put it's like a architecture looking desk so I guess they um, are in that kind of line of work and that's where they work from um, maybe they just like being I don't know like out in the open with the family and just like chilling <laughs> in the main living area instead of being like closed off in an office room or maybe they'll like update it in the future or something but I don't know um, usually have like an office space or something in the house just because it's like kind of convenient but I didn't do that this time, so yeah. As you can see, we're cluttering up the teen bedroom. I like the way that this bedroom turned out. Um, it's not like 100% like the picture, obviously, because there's like windows in different places um, in like the room. Uh, but I like the way that it turned out. I think it was close enough for like the vibe that I wanted. Um, cause we're really just going off of vibes because not every single picture was going to be like a hundred percent, um, like to the T. So I like what I, the inspiration that I got from them and like how the rooms turned out. I think it turned out close enough that I was like, I got close enough to like the aesthetic or the vibe that was in the picture, um, that I liked it. So I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. Um, but yeah, this is a nice cozy teen room. It's pretty small, but not everyone has a giant <laughs> room, so I think it's just like a reasonably sized room. Um, but they just have like their, you know, dressers and this cute little mirror with the lights on it. And I think they're really into music because I put like a record player in here and like some records on the walls and stuff like that. Um, so I think that they like to read and listen to music and um, that kind of thing. Also, I don't know if I keep it. I think I keep it. Um, but if you look by the dresser, there's like this little microphone, like karaoke microphone stand thing, um, which is actually functional. Um, but I thought maybe they like to do that. I don't know if I kept it. I think I did. Um, but yeah. So I thought, I guess they like to sing too. There's like a musical sim, I guess. Um, and then they also have a TV in here with a video game console. So maybe they, excuse me, maybe they like to play um, video games and stuff like that. And then I put a little um, vintage Mac <laughs> computer in here because I just really like the way that it looks. Um, I never like used that uh, when I was younger. Um, so I, I just have seen it in like TV shows, <laughs> like, I don't know if anyone knows what Smallville is, but we used to watch like Smallville when I was younger and, um, it was like a CW, like Superman show and, um, Chloe, who's a character on that show, she's like, um, Clark Kent's friend, 
Uh, she works in like the school newspaper and she uses that Mac in the show. So that's kind of like where I know that from because I never used it in my life. Um, I don't think I've ever been somewhere where someone else had it, but I've, so I've only like seen it in Smallville of any, of, like any place that's where I've seen it. But I, I just really like the way that it looks. I think it looks really cute and like the colors and everything. So I wanted to use that and put it in here. Um, so maybe they, I don't know, this teen sim likes retro things because unfortunately everything from when I was a kid up till now is retro. So yeah. Um, and the posters, not the um, Polaroids that are on like the lights uh, in there, but the posters in this room are stuff that I made. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's just recolors. It's not like an actual mesh or anything because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> um, but it is recolors that I made of posters in game. So yeah, that's pretty fun. Anyways, now we are in the primary bedroom and um, I had a tr like a hard time trying to figure out what I wanted to do for this bedroom. There's a lot of pictures that I was going to use, but I ended up going with this one here. Um, I just really liked the way that it looked. I liked the wood paneling like behind the bed. Um, but yeah, so I just decided to do this. Sorry, I think my mic was just shaking there because I was moving my leg. So <laughs> sorry if you could hear that. Um, but yeah, I just like the energy of this room. I just, I don't know. <laughs> There's just something about it. I like the hanging lights and, um, the really long, like, baseboard thing behind the bed. Um, I couldn't find something that had, like, a wood swatch that was similar to that. Um, so I ended up just going with, like, this, uh, I think it's supposed to be, like, a tile backsplash type thing. Um... But I just really liked the way that it looked. So I ended up keeping this. I think I made it longer. I think I downsized it and then made it longer. But yeah, I really like the way this looks because it gives like some pattern. And then I just kept this like olive -y green um, paneling in the room. So I didn't do it like 100% exact. But like I said before, it's not going to be 100% exact. So I was just going for... The vibes of it and not like to be 100 percent exact um but yeah i like the way that it turned out so um it just looks really cozy and nice <laughs> and relaxing to be in which is what you want for a bedroom um but yeah that was this inspiration and um yeah it was this room i can't remember what i was talking about before i think i was just going on about the things in the other room um i didn't put any posters in here just because it's an adult room i'm sure there's adults that have posters in their bedrooms i think that's totally fine but i never do that for some reason i just don't think i don't know i'm like if there was a couple or something i don't know if they would have like a bunch of po i feel like they would actually i think i've seen people have that in their rooms but i just never do it i don't know why i guess i just think if someone's Old enough to have like teenagers then they're probably not gonna have posters in their room um but like literally anybody could do that so maybe i'll do a like primary bedroom for a couple that has like posters and it's like i don't know pop culture kind of thing maybe we'll do like an apartment in the city or something that has that because i don't do that often but anyways <laughs> um i do use some pieces of cc like this dresser over there um, by the windows that is um, more on like the alpha side than the maxis mesh side because uh, I just like I don't know sometimes I just want to use something um, that is a little bit more alpha um, I don't think it looks that bad I personally will like mix anything I do that with my sims too um, not the sims too but I do it with my sims too like my sim characters um, like I guess it's called like maxis mix so, um, I don't mind mixing the two and I don't mind doing it for build by, um, but I know that some people are like, you get that out <laughs> if it's alpha. Um, so if you hate that, um, feel free to delete them, but I just like the length of it and the shape of it and how it looks like it's kind of live edge. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like that. I like live edge wood 
surfaces i think they're really pretty i've seen them a lot in like other people's houses or like countertops and um different things like that and if i had my own house i think i would definitely have a lot of live edge wood surface things <laughs> Um, now we're on the outside and you can see the um, egregious shape of this house So I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna roof this because it's like a zigzag um, I did have to go off camera and figure this out because I was getting really frustrated <laughs> and this doing the roofing and stuff deleted All the stuff in there like you can see I'm having a hard time with the bookshelves um, So yeah, I had to go off camera and like do this outside and figure it out because I was getting so irritated um, But I did end up doing something that I think worked out okay um i do like kind of like this outside setting area on the side here um and i think it turned out pretty well so you'll be able to see it in a second because i'm gonna cut and then you'll see what i did and then we'll go out to the backyard but um yeah you can see here i just put like a nice little sitting area and um and then like that backyard area as well and then just like a driveway and some plants and stuff but um, yeah, the area looks kind of cozy like you could just go out when it's like really warm Obviously, this is in Oasis Springs So it's like really deserty and obviously really hot and so It'd be nice to just like go out there in the afternoons and have that shade there But still feel like if there's like a breeze because it's got like the slatted like Kind of fence that's there from eco lifestyle um, And they just like have some lemonade and just I don't know eat bruschetta <laughs> or something um and just have a good time. I just thought that that was a nice little area. Um, and there is light that gets in because I put a, um, what's it called? Oh my goodness. I don't know why my brain just completely went blank. You know, the roof opening with the glass. Why can I not remember what that's called? Skylight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my brain just farted very, um, very deeply there and I could not remember what that was called it's a skylight um so yeah uh through the skylight there's like you still get light in that area and you also get a little bit of light coming in to the entrance in the dining room because it goes through the doorway so yeah that's really nice I like the way that it turned out um this is like it was interesting doing this build because like I said before I haven't done the like you know inspiration pics from pinterest and like trying to match it and like build it in the sims um i haven't done that in a while but i really like the way it turned out and it reminded me of like the houses that i used to play in um because i used to do this all the time in order to build houses for like the sims that i had i don't really do that anymore i just kind of like do it off the top of my head um but i really like the way this turned out and it makes me feel like i want to keep doing this kind of like inspiration picture thing because it made me feel inspired one one it made me feel inspired because I've been kind of in a rut with building and feeling inspired to do um like houses and stuff like that so it was nice for the inspiration and then two it kind of like makes me <laughs> feel a bit like nostalgic just because that's how I used to like play the game. It was just like through inspiration from different things and then like implementing it in here and playing in it. And it's just really fun to do. So maybe I'll do that more for my, you know, gameplay sims, just like getting, you know, inspiration from pictures and then trying to recreate it. Cause it was super fun. Um, and if you haven't done it before, I, I would, I would say go for it. Um, it's really fun to try and recreate it. Um, I've had times where um, like in the past where I would find a picture and try to get like CC specifically for that picture um, So it match it like a hundred percent like as close as I could possibly get it and that's also super fun to do um, Just to see like how close you can get something to real life uh, But yeah, super fun. I would recommend it. It's a good time. <laughs> Um, for the outdoors, like I said, I had a couple of pictures that I liked, but I didn't end up going with like one in particular. I just kind of did whatever back here and kind of amalgamated a different, like a bunch of different pictures that I saw, um, that I liked. So it's just kind of a bunch of things <laughs> that I liked put together, but I was going to put like plants and stuff, um, for like above this, like. I don't know 
like trellis, I guess. I don't know what this is called, like a pergola sort of deck thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but like on the top there, I was going to put plants hanging down, but I thought it would block the sunlight from getting into um, the bedroom that's there for the teenager. And I didn't want to block the light too much, so I didn't end up doing um, any plants up there, but I still think it looks nice. And I put some like bushes and plants and stuff um, around the porch area like on the side there so I think it worked out um I like what I did actually with the this like couch thing I'm putting it there now um I kind of like wrap it around so it's like this big like entertaining space in the backyard I think like the sims that live here I didn't really like have a big idea of who was living here I just kind of obviously you know recreated the pictures as close as I could but um as like I was building it I was thinking that they're like older adult sims and then they have like the teenager that maybe they had later in life um and they have like a bunch of friends and stuff and they like to entertain people so they have like this big entertainment space um where they keep up with all their friends and stuff and have people over um so that's kind of like the idea i don't know <laughs> it's very general um but i think if you have a space like this outside but there's only like three sims living in this house then you probably are somebody that likes to you know have people over and like an entertainment space area and I think it makes sense for um somewhere that's warm to have you know a place where you can go and hang out <laughs> outside um I did want to do some kind of like water activity outside and I was gonna put like a slip and slide but then I was like that kind of doesn't make sense because it's like two adult sims and a teenager and I feel like the teenager would probably be like I'm not slipping and sliding like I'm a teenager like I'm too grown up for that and I didn't think that the adults would so I just like ended up deleting it you're gonna see me place it down and I'm like mm, actually I'm just gonna delete that um and I didn't put a pool because there's enough room and then I didn't put in a hot tub so there's no water activity back here but if you really wanted to put one um you could if you wanted to um I think did I make something for a pet in this house? I don't think I did. Did I? I don't think I did. I don't think there's pets in this house, but I was gonna say at least they have somewhere to pee. <laughs> Link to go outside, but I don't think I did put any pet items in here, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is me trying to find the slip and slide, but it doesn't stay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's it for this build. Um, thanks for sticking around and um, hanging out with me. Um, and I guess I will see you in the next video. And I hope that you guys like this build. The download folder will be in the description box that will take you to the download um, with like the CC list and everything in it. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.